Hello and welcome to Scrapping on the Fly. My name is Kristen and I'm here with day 29 of May I Scrap Lift You. And today the list has Laura Moss, which is Scrappy Kia, and on Instagram. And so that is the layout that I selected of hers to scrap lift. This right here is a layout I created for Mixed Media Mayhem and um, Iron Crafters Challenge. And it's going to be the facing page to what I'm about to create. And so I use this icing paste by Art Extravagance. Um, on that layout and this little blue um, star paper which really just looks like stripes now that the stars cut out so I wanted to bring those things in and again I'm going to be using the it's a new day by um, by the hip kit club I have this picture of my son my mom and my nephew who both the boys graduated from middle school and so I've got five different colors pulled out that I felt like went well with this collection and lots and lots of ephemera to go with this collection this up here I've already picked and then I also have some um, wood veneer from some assemblage required I also had that on the other layout so I wanted to get some of that on here. So I have my papers, my lots and lots of embellishments, some mixed media and inks, and a um, stencil I'm going to bring in, and the, my picture and this awesome layout. So let's see how this goes. Okay, so I thought this was going to be a longer video because I screw up a couple of times. And so I wanted to talk about that. <laughs> so... This right here, I first started, I got the first two colors on and something about it wasn't making me happy. I didn't like the way that the circular daubers were leaving all those weird circles. So then I just turned it over and used the other side. Perfectly fine. Except, and then I used the smaller little finger daubers. And at first I'm okay with it and then I'm not. <laughs> so after I get this on here, the other thing is that I was putting the orange... Um, down really the wild honey and it was too orangey and not um, a light orange that I wanted and it's really splotchy so I just put that whole paper aside pulled out a brand new one and get started with my blending brushes I am much happier with the way that this is um, I mean I've used the daubers before I don't know if it's just the mood I'm in or what it is but I start with worn lipstick and I move down with, hmm, I think the marmalade and then wild honey, twisted citron, and then blue hmm, prized ribbon. And then what I'm doing is I'm taking this stencil from the flare hut that Lisa Sikorsky created that I got in my, um, my advent calendar, um, the Christmas, the summer nope the color advent calendar and I push through the same color that I inked with but I give it more um, saturation so I put just put more down and so you can see all the little bits and pieces the hearts it's hearts and circles and stars some places I'm a little lighter handed and then when I go through with the stencil I make it heavier so I put that on both sides I love that I love that about her um, layout that she used like a stamp or something through it I thought that was great but I figured I would just keep with using the stencil so here is the first one and like I said I'm putting through an icing paste in vintage gold and I love this stuff I bought this from Peacecraft Joy um, earlier mm, almost a year ago I guess and I think July but um so i put it at the top corner and the bottom corner where she's got her black stamping i use that and now um, i let that dry and i've come back i matted my picture in a floral print from this collection and then i matted it with um like frankenstein matted it with the stripey paper so that that would be um you know with the same paper that i use on the layout that's going to be facing and so then I've just got all these different icons that I want to put down kind of on a color on color situation. And most of them are outlined in white. So they stand out like those leaves and the hearts. Um, I do have one leaf up in the top on that um, worn lipstick that blends in, but I'm okay with that. 
sitting here in front of the layout, I can see it just fine. Um, but, you know, from here on camera, it that pink leaf kind of blends in a little bit. And that is perfectly fine because when you're looking at these, typically you're going to be looking at them in a book and it's right in front of you. So I grab a leaf out of my ephemera and I put it behind this good vibes. Now I put the good vibes up and over a little bit higher than she has it. And I'm putting this little flower um, over a little bit further than I probably normally would have because I made boo-boos. <laughs> Stenciling is still something reasonably new to me. And especially when I'm doing um, paste, a lot of times I will make a god awful mess. Now, I did pretty good on my layout with my paste. It was the inking. I ended up getting a couple bits and pieces and places. And so for the most part, the way I moved the title and the way I put this floral over here next to the pink a little bit further out than I probably would have, I covered almost all of the boo-boos up. And I am perfectly thrilled with that. So I'm adding a little bit more wordy bit and embellishment. I'm kind of around. She has kind of like a cluster up in the corner and then down in the corner by the title. And I do have that a little, but I kind of spread some wordy bits out and put some things down on my layout just because they fit what I wanted to say on this layout. So I was going to find a place to put them. So hanging with my peeps, I thought that was cute. Uh, this is so exciting. Um, I put the word happy down in the blue, the word nice up in the pink. And I thought all that really fit where I put that little tab. I'm going to put um, either the date, probably just put the date there. And then um, I added like a little floral or a leaf. And then I'm going to pull out these lovely... Uh, wood veneer from some assemblage required that I ordered from MK back in probably around the same time I ordered that paste. Um, and I'm going to put those two clusters um, kind of spread out down by the title and then up by the top left corner of the picture. And I add a few more puffy things and a butterfly in the blue since there wasn't a whole lot of blue embellishment. So I wanted to get that done. I considered putting another um, pink one above that flower to extend that um, pinky stripe over there on the right side but changed my mind I may go back and do it again I haven't decided anyway so I am using up my gold paste and since I obviously didn't use it all up here I wanted to get some of it used up because it was drying out and I wanted to get it used so I used it on the paper that I messed up I made this, I can use this as a mat or I can use it to cut things out. I may fussy cut those. I also put a bunch of gold on a white cardstock mat and then this black eight and a half by 11. And I really like the way they turned out and I can either use those for stamping or I can use, or not stamping, but um, punching. I can cut something out with it. Who knows? I just figure if it was going to go bad and I needed to get it used, I would do it and I will find a way to use the stuff to go with it. So there was uh, Laura's layout again, and here come the close-ups of my layout. I hope that you will go down below to the May I Scrap Lift You playlist, and also the list of people that we are scrap lifting is down there. Um, and people can scrap lift whoever they want and may I scrap lift you. Um, Crystal Barrett with Pineapple Papers makes a selection based on people who have ag ag agreed to let us scrap lift them. And I just usually go by what is on her list because it's a lot of fun. And it's interesting to see if anybody picks the same layout to scrap lift. So I hope you'll come back again and see me very soon. Go check out all those awesome people down below. Have a great day and happy scrapping.